Hi, my name is Tamara and I'm a backpacking guide with the Amniska Mountain Adventures. I'm here today to give you some tips to have a more fun and lightweight multi-day backpacking trip with us. We've posted our online gear list that you should reference as well. First of all, begin by laying out all your equipment in front of you. Beginning with the backpack, choose something that's light and properly sized for you. The more pockets and zippers that you have on your pack, the more heavier it is. So start with a light base pack. So this pack here is simple, one compartment, a 65 liter Deuter pack. Most packs have a pocket for your hydration system. Put that in first along your spine. Run the drinking tube through the front and place it where you like it. Next, I'm gonna make sure I have Pristine. It's our water purification system. It's a taste and odor free product that's quick and easy to use. We'll stop often on the trail to refill. This will go in the top of my pack. Next, I'm gonna put my collapsible bowl near the back of my water bladder. Next, my sleeping mat. I prefer to fold my sleeping mat and put it at the bottom of my pack. Back to the bottom of my pack, I'm gonna begin by placing some of the heavier items like my sleeping system. This is my tent, my sleeping bag. Often, I'll put a clean pair of socks in here as well and compress it down for later use. Some of the group gear we're gonna carry will be a pot set with stove, food, and some fuel. Because the food is quite heavy, I'm gonna make sure I place that in just the right spot. Remember, this group gear will be split up amongst all the hikers on our trip. To add some of my personal gear, rather than putting it in stuff sacks, which is gonna add extra weight, I'm gonna remove the stuff sacks and fill the empty spaces in my pack. This is a mid-weight jacket I like to have that has a hood. Great for early morning and evening when the temperature drops off. I'll take an extra t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, some long underwear, long pants, socks, if they're not already in the bottom of my sleeping bag. And then for the rain gear, I'm gonna keep this close to the top because you never know when we might need it. These jackets are really lightweight. The pants have a full zip side zip, which is great for putting over your hiking boots. Also near the top of my pack, I'm gonna keep my insula insulating layer of hand and headwear. Keep your personal hygiene products in a sealable clear bag. It's easier to see and also to hang in the evening. I'm gonna keep my headlamp near the top as well. And I'm gonna take a spork and a knife. A drinking mug. And my bowl's already in here. My lunch bag's gonna go near the top. Also my pack cover and my umbrella. Guides gear, we're gonna throw in a first aid kit. A map. All that good stuff of survival. Items. A radio. and a locator beacon called a spot. Bear spray, which is gonna go on the outside of my pack, and a tarp. Bring a seat pad like the one I've been kneeling on for camp comfort. And take your pack out for a good, good hike before the trip. Footwear. Be sure to get many kilometers on your footwear before a trip. 
Hiking in uneven terrain and with an overnight pack will make your feet and boots react differently than day hiking. Having new boots on our trip is not recommended. Use some good hiking socks with a wool blend. Get some custom or store-bought foot insoles to reduce your foot fatigue. Lastly, hiking poles. Great addition for balance and also reduces fatigue. If you have any more questions prior to our pre-trip meeting, be sure to send our office staff a message. They'd love to help you. See you soon.